Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Alpha Ambassador, and in this series of short video tutorials, we're going to deep dive into Sony's new menus that we see on cameras such as the A7 IV and the Alpha One. So without much further ado, let's get started. One of the trickiest things to set up on these late model Alpha cameras is the record media settings. Now this will be influenced by the recording media that we choose to put in that slot 1 and slot 2. Now on the Alpha 7 IV we have a choice of CF Express Type A card or STXC card. Now I would recommend if you can afford it to put the CF Express Type A in that upper slot and then just put a regular STXC STXC2 card in that lower slot. This will have an influence on the way we set up the record media settings. So we're going to go into the menu and we're going to go down to that shooting menu, page 2, record media settings. Now in that first line item there, which is uh, highlighted in orange, I'm choosing to send the stills images to slot 1. Now if I am shooting raw files in rapid bursts of images I'm going to have an almost limitless buffer if I choose to put a CF Express Type A card in that upper slot. So if I'm recording raw files to an STXC card on maybe on slot 2 then that will um, hit the buffer a lot faster and that will then slow the camera down from recording. Now second line item is where are we going to send the movie files to I'm choosing to send them to slot 2 the lower slot. Just a word of warning on that however in the if you're shooting in the S and Q the slow and quick at the very high frame rate 100 or 120 frames per second in 10 bit then you are going to hit a, a, this warning screen here so you might either have to switch that over to um, uh, recording to the upper slot with the CF Express Type A card or lower that to an 8-bit recording or lower the frame rate so we can record to the STXC2 card. So the third line item in this menu is auto switch media now this is off by default but I definitely recommend switching this to on and what that means is if the uh, uh, card is in slot 1 becomes full it will start recording on slot 2. If you've forgotten to put a card in slot 1 it will start recording to slot 2 instead. So that's a useful um, uh, setting to switch to the on. Um, when we go down we can now jump to the image quality settings. Now you'll notice in that uh, top line item I've switched slot 1 to sort recording. What this does is it allows me to record RAW to um, slot 1 and JPEG images to slot 2. This is useful if I quickly want to share some JPEG images by sending them um, to my mobile phone or sending them FTP. Now if we go into those image quality settings and I've got sort recording on then I can choose the raw file format for slot 1. I can also choose the raw file type and that includes uncompressed which might be something uh, that landscape um, photographers might want to use lossless compression this will increase the number of images that we can record to uh, the buffer um, also um, compressed now if you're wanting the uh, the maximum frame rate and the maximum buffer then you could choose compressed for sports action photography We'll then choose the file format for slot 2. Now I'll choose JPEG and then I'll go down to the JPEG quality and choose extra fine. Now we do have light standard fine but I will choose the best quality JPEG here. We could also choose the JPEG image size but I'm going for the full 33 megapixels on this Alpha 7.4. We can select OK and then come back out of the, uh, the image quality settings or we can go over back to the record media settings which is what I'll do now. So we've looked at um, setting that first line item to slot 1 or sort recording if I want to shoot uh, RAW to slot 1 and JPEG to slot 2. We have a third option there simultaneous recording. This will record the same file um, quality to both cards simultaneously. So that would be uh, recording that RAW and we can choose the quality of that RAW going to both slots. Now this might be the preferred preferred setup for a wedding photographer and they're basically um, using slot 2 as their insurance policy should they have a card error in slot 1. Okay so I will um, typically just use a recording media on that top line item set to slot 1 if I don't need to shoot JPEGs as well. 
Now, a quick way of getting into these record media settings is not to go into the menus at all, but just to press the FN button on the back of the camera. And by default, the, uh, the lower right icon in that stills is going to be your record media settings. And if you get to the record media settings, you can also jump over to image quality settings as well. If you found this information useful, head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor. I'm offering an alpha creative skills support channel where you can download a 500 page camera specific ebook and I've covered most of the late model alpha cameras. You'll also be able to download a cam set file if you own one of the later model alphas. You'll be able to set up your entire camera with just a single file copied to a memory card. I also offer additional uh, ebooks for people to download to help them master the uh, skills of creative photography and also a range of uh, one hour seminars that look at the uh, using the, uh, the camera gear to the best effect and also to build up your skills of photography in general. So head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor.